No One Likes Us Clothing is the clothing range designed by Millwall fans for Millwall fans. Caps, t-shirts, polos, they've got it all. Visit noonelikesus.co.uk for the full range. Or, if you're in Bermondsey on a match day, why not have a pint in the Blue Anchor pub and pick up a Nolu polo shirt, Nolu clothing, www.noonelikesus.co.uk. Broadcasting from the beautiful South Bermondsey. Except no substitute. Hello dear listeners, welcome to a very special edition of Acton Grassroots. It is at Grassroots. It's gone below the roots, I'm going down into the soil. Harry, who sat next to me, has persuaded me to attend a women's football match. Harry, you've broken my habit of a lifetime here, mate. I can hear the clicks of Millwall listeners turning off. <laughs> Our core demographic of over 35 switching off as we speak. Are we here in uh, Walthamstow, Wadham Lodge uh, Football Centre. There's a small ground at the back of what is a, a regular kind of football, uh, what they call them, kicks kind of centres. Those, those, uh, like a bit like goals. Goals, goals. Um, there's an actual um, small non-league ground on the back. Is that not a bad little ground there? A bit ramshackle, we were just saying. Yeah, it's, it's been here 101 years, so it's not it's not doing too bad. It's got one sort of standard so, uh, stand and then three sides of standing. It's got um, a little, yeah. little cover, uh, like scaffolded cover at uh, both ends, actually, so it's not a bad set-up. It is a little bit um, dog-eared around the edges, but it's not bad. All from Stowe FC, I think some other non-league uh, teams. But we're here today, Harry, to see your team. And you're actually in, you're in your gear, you're in your London Seawood shirt here, London Seawood versus Hashtag in the Women's uh, Division 1 South East League, FA. Yeah, so the FA Women's National League, so in, for anyone that doesn't know the setup, you've got the WSL, which is the top league, which is the Premier League women's team, so that's where you get your Chelsea's, um, Man City's Arsenal. Uh, then you've got the Championship, which is where London City Lionesses, the Millwall Breakaway Club are. Um, yeah. Then you get after that, you get the FA, uh, FA National Women's Premier League, and then you've got where we are, which is effectively League Two. League Two in, in uh, men's terms, so yeah, to speak. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Floodlights have just come on. I've noticed it's a, it's a moderate evening. We're just waiting for the two teams to come onto the pitch. We will be checking into the game as it goes along, as anything occurs to me. Harry, you've got work to do here, mate. You've got a very, almost a Sherlock Holmesian style notepad going on here with um, all sorts of hieroglyphics in there, mate. What are you doing? Well, yeah, so basically my role at the club's Club Scout, so um, I've been doing it since last October, so uh, I'm here for um, another view, because obviously where you're at pitch level, sometimes you don't see, uh, as a game goes on, you don't see necessarily all of what is going on, so I'm on the opposite side of the dugout just for any uh, additional thoughts to the management team. So a few early thoughts, we're still waiting for the teams to come out, listeners, but I am a newbie and I've never been to a women's game in my life so I didn't know what to expect. First thing that's striking me I suppose, more people here than I thought would be here. There is music as you can hear behind me and interesting, there's even a programme. I paid a fiver to get in, £4 actually, £1 for the programme. I bought myself a programme to support the London Seawood um, Club. Um, so yeah, it's... it's uh, it, <laughs> It's better than I thought it would be so far. <laughs> I'm really picking my words carefully here, Rachel. You are. <laughs> I don't know what I'm meant to say here. Whatever I say, say is going to be Say nothing, because you're, you're in your work wrong. at the moment. Yeah. Um, no, I expected it one man and the dog, um, the semi-park level, and uh, this is this is better and higher level. This is would be... Um, uh, it's as good as if it may be a little bit more uh, scruffier than oh. Fisher, but it's Dartford. Yeah, it's just that kind of that kind of thing. So yeah, the women's Division One South East League, which is League Two ish, as, as Harry said already, including uh, this uh, London Seawood, which were once upon a time linked with Leighton Orient, I think. H. Yeah, that's right. We um, had a, uh, had a, a split over a couple of things before my time. Um, as the teams come out, but that's probably timed it perfectly for me to stay out of any political wrangling. <laughs> Harry's going to keep quiet during it. This is going to be a real test for him. Um, just looking at some of the other clubs in this division, Norwich City, biggest name there, obviously, Premier, uh, no, not Premier League now, but were till last season. Um, London Sea with hashtag Cambridge City, QPR, Ashford Town, AFC, Wimbledon, Cambridge United, Hounslow, Chesham, 
Actonians and Winmondham Win Town. So some big names mixed with some lesser known names. But they've got a programme. How about that? Millwall can't do a programme, but the uh, London Seaward women's side can do a programme. Maybe, maybe I should message Cav. I mean, you can have a, a, a crossover of our spreadsheets. Both teams on the pitch. Seaward are in an all-blue strip, all-blue and white. New kit, apparently. New Harry kit. Me. New kit. We've got a new club sponsor coming late. Can you name that sponsor? Uh, it's pronounced Tech Sock. Uh, I believe it is a um, a LinkedIn tech um, company link up around training. Um, yeah, I've got I've got it on my phone. But right, we'll, we'll give it a shout later on. Um, hashtag United in a kind of pink and blue number. Quite a nice kit, actually. Um, they are a side formed as a result of YouTubers on on the internet, formed their own football club, uh, promoted it via their own YouTube channel. And amazingly, I was just looking at the uh, the, 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 the um, name of that company is TechSoc, TechSoc, T-E-C-H-S-O-C. So that's a shout out to TechSoc there. Um, yeah, hashtag formed by a couple of YouTubers, but now have Cesar Azpilacueta, Chelsea centre back you said H yeah Champions League winning centre back as an owner um, so yeah that's, that's what I call successful yeah they're also sponsored the club uh, got a shirt sponsor of the VFL which is a FIFA based pro clubs league this has all gone over Nick's head but I've no, not got a clue what he's may, on about some people may understand what I've just said but yeah there we go it's a whole world um, beyond my beyond my imagination listeners so both sides about the start uh, we'll check in as the game proceeds as I've said it's going to be hashtag that kicks us off attacking the uh, the football centre end. <laughs> you can name it. You could. I'm giving you the honour to name it, and I'll uh, try and get it on. And see, we'll Actually, be attacking. That's dog, no, that's the dog and duck end. Dog that's and duck the, end. Because that's where the pub is. So that can be the dog, dog and, and duck end. end. And see, we'll be attacking the back garden end. Yeah. There's some houses around the uh, quite pleasant little grounds, quite green and leafy, quite nice. Game is underway, and um, what with me rabbiting, I didn't set my stopwatch to go. But anyway, there we are. Well, five, coming all six minutes in, early impressions from my point of view. Harry's scribbling furiously in his, in his notepad next to me. Um, standard's pretty good. Uh, it's been mostly hashtag pressing forwards. They are a side with more resources, H, would you say? Uh, yeah, many more resources. Many more resources. About, about five times the resources that we have. So there you have it. They, they've been the uh, uh, superior side, I suppose, in pressing forwards, but there has been a break from by... London Seaward tackling, strong, um, tactical knowledge so far from what I've seen, only f- six minutes in. 1 0 to, to hashtag on seven and a half minutes. Nice move, Harry, nice finish. Some nice skill on the ball by the, uh, the goal going through there. Yeah. <laughs> He's taking it hard, listeners. Um, that was a nice, nice play. Um, I was just thinking to do another recording when this goal came in, um, and that was a good example of it. The, the, the strength of running. Is very good. Uh, now I don't know what I expected when I came along here. I suppose I expected uh, something a little bit more patter cake. And if you're going to talk about physicality, of course, of course, a men's game will carry more um, strength, if you like. But there's some skillful get girls away, out there, away. fast. And um, there's a long ball there over the top. It's so stable. It's the ten for Seaward now pressing forwards on on eight minutes. It's uh, stable. It's on the right side. The eighteen now. A little one two. That's broken down, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, you, you can talk about um, the difference in physical stature if you want. Um, but so far, the running's been been good by both sides. But hashtag do seem to have a touch more quality. I'm talking to Jose Marino next to me. You're telling me about some dark arts here, Rich. Um, I'm trying to introduce the dark arts. I'd say it's a Millwall style of dark arts to the women's game. You know, I know it's about you know letting the ball go, not retrieving the ball. It, it, it. it. There's a move forward by Seward here. 17 just got pushed off the ball. There. 17 is Megan Megan Burrows. Um, the 20. R- Rhea Thomas Arroyo was uh, caught by eye earlier on in that move forwards there, Harry. In yeah, midfield. former um, former championship player, played for Crystal Palace. Okay. Uh, played in the States as well. So she's a good player. Crowd here, we're going to guess at between uh, 50, 60 people. Um, some will be uh, friends and family, I guess. There are one or two here I'd call uh, walk-ins, if you, if you want to put it that, in that way. There's more, there's more to it, listeners, than I pictured it being before I could set off from home. When Harry said, come along, watch the women's game, I thought, well, 
I did it because he's a mate, you know. I did it because he's a mate. Um, but I've pictured it being a bit like turning up at Beckton Park on a on a on a Sunday. But it's not. It's uh, it's a nice setup, as I've said already. You know, turnstile uh, program, floodlights, blah blah blah. It's, it's a proper looking football club. Cheap. Cheap. Four pound to get in. Fifteen coming towards fifteen and a half minutes. 23 minutes into the first half. It's still Seaward nil. Hashtag one. A bit more of a balance about the game now. So I say that it's not quite as decisive in favour of Hashtag as it was at the beginning. Still no um, chances for Seaward in front of goal. Standard remains, you know, as uh, as quick and as uh, committed as it was at the start. Um, no signs of that fading away. Little ball uh, taken, turn the middle there. Referee's letting quite a lot go, I'd say. But this is this is hashtag breaking forwards now on 20, nearly 24 minutes. That shot lacked um, power. However, this is that, uh, yeah, so far so good. 23 comes towards 24 minutes. The amount of stuff Harry's telling me, and I can't record it. He's just done. He's just done like a, a, a diagram of what ought to be happening with these seaward wingbacks, and isn't happening at the moment. I can't repeat it. Otherwise, he'd have to kill me. Yeah. Silence me. This is um, hashtag on the break now. No, it came to nothing. 28 minutes in, um, possession football from the hashtags, I'd say, as a, a you know a, a non um, uh, just as purely as a spectator. Uh, See, we're looking very much. Um, Second best. W- w- second best. <laughs> willing, willing, but not but falling a little bit short, I'd say, on 28 minutes. Coming towards 28 and a half minutes. Resources. We're talking yeah, about so resources. You're, we're a fully independent club uh, run by a, a female committee originally when we started. We've got a few more people involved now, but um, it, it is a fully backed women's independent club that yeah. are trying to grow the game in the right way, um, not just sort of see themselves growing. You know, in all facets, their games, yeah, yeah, community yeah. club, and so on and so forth. Just enabling girls to play football. Um, I think we've got a couple of events coming up in Walthamstow. If you follow our Twitter, if you've got girls if you're that over this down, side, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, in terms of resources, I mean, every single girl out there has had to get two hundred and fifty pounds worth of sponsorship to be able to play this season to to play for the club. Right. So there's, um, I think there's only three or four that haven't got that to my knowledge, um, which will sort out a, a pay to play or whatever a fan party. At that. I think it's very. I think it's near enough done. I think we've got a yeah, couple more weeks. Yeah, body eighteen. Yeah. yeah, Susie Davis. Yeah, very good football player. Formerly a Whiteleaf, who got relegated from a uh, Millwall Lionesses division last season. Okay. Uh, yeah. So there's a, there's a few here um, that have, have been about, about about around the tiers. A couple I've brought in 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 my role as scouting. Susie's one of them. So is Eddie Pace. They go up front. And so Sam, the girl there, um, number ten. They're, they're, you know, we're we're a growing club. I, I think. And if you are interested in, in joining the local women's team, I would say that they are crying out for volunteers on the ups, like on the upsurge of the of the success of the Lions. Uh, yeah, the Euros. That, yeah, um, yeah. It's a it's a great place, you know, to, to volunteer because the football, the stereotypes, I don't think exist anymore really in terms of of the football. It's just different. It's not men's football because it isn't men's football. It's never no, going to be not men, but no, that's it, it. But the what struck me so far, I said it already on this. The pace is, 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 there's some fit girls out there, pacey, um, yeah. strong in the tackle. I mean, um, everyone... Some skills too. That's it. All the girls out here are committed for both sides in the sense that I know, uh, you know, we train, for us, we train mm. twice a week. That's Tuesday, Wednesday, every week. Uh, there are weeks where we have midweek games. They've got to travel. You think about the travelling involved in this league. You've got to be committed to do this, it, Harry. Absolutely. You know, you can't carry people. Um, but to administer it, to play, yeah, uh, coaching, you're the likes of yourself. You're the, you, you know, I mean, I'm going to blow your trumpet for you, but, you know, you're, you're committed to it. You, you, you put in a lot of miles doing yeah. what you're doing. I mean, you, you know, look at, look at I'd say, Ashtag's opponents at the weekend were from North Norfolk, so they've driven right. down to Essex yeah. on a Sunday. It's a lot down the A12, you know, yeah. and they've been beat ten nil. So you know, yes. you, you know, got to be because you got to love the game. Absolutely. I mean, this this, this place just to, to place it for anyone don't know Walthamstow is literally it's dead easy. Um, you're coming along the North Cirque and you're coming off at the Crooked Billet Roundabout, and it's just round a corner. Um, very very easy easy uh, location to find. Um, so if you're anywhere over this side. 
as Harry said, I DM recommend it. Or follow up, DM me on Twitter and I'll tell you I fix you. You're always interested, Harry. Yeah, yeah I, you know, I, I'm at this club for, for a reason. I've been here since last October. I applied to a couple of other clubs mm. um, and see what were the ones that made this my home. And yeah, I do care about it. You know, I care about the girls and. It, you know, it, to be involved in a football club, it's it's a bit special. You know, when you're growing from the, where we are, so you know how much it means. So yeah, that's what it's like. Get well, all emotional, aren't I? Well said. <laughs> no, well said. Well said. Hashtag have a fair line in long throws, though. Right? They do. They have oh, a fair. They have box. a fair line in a lot of stuff, mate. Yeah, they've looked a good side. They um, are good side. It Great remains good. at the uh, the 41 minute mark now. They've got um, a player on loan from West Ham as well. That's the kind of level that they can do. We can't do that. We can't go and get loanies. We have to go and sign our players and, and so on. But, uh, and we, to go. What I can't fault Seawood is in terms of commitment. I mean, yes, there's quality differences there. Great tackle. That's the, uh, the full team uh, being tackled over there for, for uh, hashtag. Ball into the box. Ooh, that was in front of goal there. Coming towards 41 and a half minutes, listeners. It remains 1-0. Just about in the last few minutes, I think. Hashtag are pressing forwards, as is their want. Half time, Harry's back from his team talk. You're really enjoying yourself here, Harry, aren't you? You're having a good time doing this, mate? Yeah, I am, yeah. I love you it. I, I really do. I mean, I probably will work on getting... I'm only a level 2 uh, PFSA level scout. So they go all the way to level four now. They're getting more advanced. They go on. So yeah. I want to do me level three, but it, it's expensive, ladies and gentlemen. It's not. Um, I think the the, uh, the, the the course. Yeah, the course is about. The I think the last one. The yeah. last one was. I think the last one I paid like 180 quid for. Right. Um, and that was player ID, which, to be honest. Right. I think I think I'll go for me technical scouting for the opposition yeah. first. Right. These are all FA courses that you uh, play. Well, the FA don't really do one for scouting. There's kind of a little split in the FA. The FA don't don't accept the PFSA, which is the Professional Football Scouts Association. So I'm Arca- a Arca- team. Arca- yes. Arca- team. So um, they're trained by like you get. Um, I mean, my course was Millwall. Um, was a Millwall scout at the time um, by Steve Jones was on my course and on my course we had the head of recruitment at the time of Stoke City talking about how they right, do it okay. stuff. Yeah. so you get professionals within the working game um, what they do at their club so on and so forth so it's, it's, it's decent and you get to watch like a recorded game or a Champions League game and you get given a task and you're marked yeah, yeah. on what you've written so it's all it's all proper stuff I've got me level one coaching as well yeah with, um, which I'll work on as well when I get yeah. level two, but you have to be... Uh, there seems to be a lot of people want to do coaching and so on and so forth since lockdown. A lot of people want to want to do other bits and bobs with their life, I think. So there's been... Well, do you know what? I was things. just going to... The point I was going to go on to, actually, because we're talking to Michael here from Belvedere, men's football, but it's a similar kind of thing here. I, I can see uh, it's, it's fulfilling. It, it's a sense of community and... You're part of something, and I, I, I kind of get it. I mean, you've got to have the time and the uh, skill sets to, to do it, but I, I can understand why people get involved in this kind of level of football. It's got a, it reaches into places the top levels don't quite get to nowadays. Well, it's got, it's got a little bit of romance about it still, you know, like how they, the BBC likes to call Aaron an old romantic because he likes, you, you know, know yeah. you know, he likes the, the songs around Stoke coming yeah, out, or yeah, he, like, yeah. he likes the traditions or whatever, and. I suppose, uh, to, a, to a lesser extent, you know, it's exactly the same as non-league football. It is basically non-league football. Yeah, just yeah, girls it, it is. It's just it's girls, yeah, yeah. That's, that's all it is, Every really. other thing about this visit, listeners, has been just as it was for me when I went to watch Aerith and Belvedere. On, Apart from we don't sell Madry. Well, also, if we don't sell Madry, I was all driven anyway, so it wouldn't matter to me if we were, they were selling Madry because I wouldn't be able to drink it. But, um, no, the actual vibe is, is very similar, which is something that's really struck me. I didn't know what to expect, and that's that's... Uh, my takeaway really and what I'll go home with you know I have realised there are people torching torching pitchforks ready for uh, why haven't you gone and watched the lionesses Nick um, <laughs> why haven't you gone I, this, is, this is the first time I've managed to put him on the spot in the entire time he's been sitting down he's been digging at me that's it <laughs> No reason, no reason. Um, I, I, it's, it's taken me a, 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 a bit of effort, if I'm going to be honest, to get out tonight. Uh, all joking aside, if Harry hadn't invited me along, I probably wouldn't have come. I mean, let's, let's be up front. Yep. Um, I, I've been, I'm enjoying it. The game has been pretty good. So it's, the whole thing is a learning experience. No, uh, I haven't been to, to uh, the Lionesses. I went to Fisher. 
So no reason why not. Maybe at some stage I will do. But um, so far, no, this is my first time. Just to let you know, our season ticket is £5 cheaper than the Lionesses for a tier <laughs> higher football. <laughs> Both teams lined up for the second half. This will be Seaward kicking towards the um, the dog and duck ends in the second period. <laughs> Smart little save by the goalkeeper. She hasn't had an awful lot to do, really, no, Harry. You know, for all the possession of, uh, of a hashtag, that's really one of the first chances apart from the goal where she's had the ball in her hands. Yeah, she's new this season. She um, spent last season at Billericay, who went up as champions, but she never really got a look in there, so we signed her in the summer. She's a really good goalkeeper. Um, young. Plays at Parking Abbey as well, um, which is a college. Okay. She's got quite a good women's program. If you're looking to put your kids through a sporting college, they're quite good. Parking Abbey. Yeah. Hashtag United play out of the uh, Len Salmon Stadium in Pitsy. Anyone, anyone knows that? Uh, no, they don't. no, no, don't. They I was don't. correcting me. I'm going by. Their men's Wiki. team. Their men's team do. But okay. Their, their women's team play at Averley. Oh, Avery down by uh, Lakeside down there. Yeah, they played there. That's all for this season. I consider myself admonished, listeners. So, sorry, I don't the, apologize. The men's team play at Pitsy and the women's team play at Avery. Yeah. Uh, which actually is, is uh, just, again, an easy place to find. That's down at the Lakeside Junction there on the uh, A13 M25. 2-0, uh-huh. uh, dear listeners, on... 53 minutes. Um, smart finish, really. Ball locked over from the top of the uh, seaward defence to the right side, and the hashtag 17, I think that was, was it? No, the 10, sorry, 10, put it away quite quite nippily into the left sided corner of the goal. That's 2 0 now, um, game set and match. Yeah, I think. Um, I'm ready. That's the uh, number 20 I mentioned earlier on to leaving the field. She looked quite, um, quite good. So he's just coming in, H. It's Ree. It's Z, rather. It's Z. Very good football player, very quick feet. 28. I was more laughing at the fact that Joe Butler's clapping along because all she's wanted for two seasons of basically running the club single-handedly as club secretary and player is for us to have some fans. And uh, it'd be wrong of me not to not to thank Joe for keeping this club running last season while I've got a podcast so yeah I've said it now thanks Joe fair play fair play there's Amina Malik number 28 just coming great tackle oh. drama here at Wadham Lodge as uh, Seaward score a nice move actually nice move down the right long cross in finds a striker at the uh, far post left side she taps it back and it's bundled into the net from close it's uh, what's it now 60 60 minutes just short of 59 60 minutes and it's 2-1 and um, nice move age yeah really good I think Eddie Pace had a shot got palmed out by the keeper and Joe's I don't know if it went in or I don't know if it's it like it bundled in almost yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I thought Joe scored I thought Joe might have scored but I'm not too sure if we bunged it in but right. let's, let's see how they react now well it should yeah. put some spirit in to see with a little bit on the back foot you were just saying off here that uh, two moments of quality had put the hashtag in front but that's, that's a bit of a blowback there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Ticking towards the 60th minute, dear listeners. Halfway through the second half, 67 minutes. Harry, uh, Seaward, unexpectedly, in it? Um, unexpectedly is a bit... Uh, yeah. I haven't gone 2-0 down. I thought it was game set. Yeah, I, think it was, I, thought, I thought it might have been then. I didn't think... I think we battled. I thought we'd be as... I knew we could play better than what we did in the first half, and I'm being totally honest, but... You know, when we gave away the second goal, it was it would have been easy for their heads to drop, Soon, but they've been yeah. really, really good. They're still very much in it. Yeah, yeah, pressing forwards here. So yeah, um, we've been. Um, I think we've we've looked a little bit more comfortable. We've ch- changed a little bit of the shape, and we we look a lot more comfortable playing this. This is more our normal our normal style. We sort of played the other style to contain. Mm. Sort of made a little tactical tweak, and it's working quite well. Drama on 72 minutes. Referee's given a penalty. Looks a very soft decision, Harry. Harry. <laughs> he's keeping quiet. He's, he's, he's being professionally quiet. He can't talk about the referee, can he? <laughs> I've never seen him in such turmoil. I thought it was a soft decision, listeners. Um, I speak, I'm in big trouble. Yeah, so you cannot speak. Um, forgetting that, 73 minutes, it's a penalty to uh, hashtag which will probably settle matters now, having uh, that little brief flurry. 
She went bottom right on Sun, uh, bottom right on Sunday. Goalkeeper's left. It was in the scouting report. Let's see if she changes. So bottom right. Okay, we'll I'll report well, back. Our, our bottom right as we look at bottom left keeper. Let's watch this penalty. Seventy third minute, listeners. Here it comes. Top, top right, mate. Top right. Same side. Three one two to hashtag and probably. Um, that will be that, listeners. I know I've written them off already, Seawood, but it's um, going to be a long way back now at this stage of the game. Yeah. Um, it's tough on Seawood, Harry, because I thought they'd done very well in the second half to claw their way back into yeah, this game. I don't know how long it's left, 15 minutes. I mean, uh, 15 now. Yeah. If there is another goal, we need it to be us. Um, I thought it was soft. I, I, you know, I, I, we're a long way away, but it, it looked very soft. I mean, the reaction normally tells you, and the reaction of the girls was quite indignant. They tend to, there's not really a lot of this... Um, it's not in the men's game. You're Professional uh, yeah. theatrics. Not, yeah. Yeah. Move out of defence, broke down there. This is uh, Haystack coming forwards now. This ought to be 4-1, and it is indeed 4-1 on three minutes of time added on there. Um, that's very harsh on Seward. I, I was just thinking to summarise the game, Harry. I mean, that second goal was really the killer in the, in, in, in the, uh, in the situation overall when it went 2-0 yeah. to, to, to Hashtag. Yeah, I mean, we, we took our goal really well and our one sort of 4A forward... We've done a few. That come from a mistake. We've sort of made two or three mistakes. And when you play the best team in the league, because they are the best team in the league, and without a question of that, you get punished. So they've shown quality in terms of finishing. Oh, they they, they, they haven't. Um, they, I mean, brought to bear. Their 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 movement in terms of across their front three, their athleticism. They are very very. Built well, as we say this, our former keeper performing miracles. Unlucky. But overall, my first ever women's football game. Um, I've enjoyed myself, Ange. Um, That's good. Yeah, you're more yeah. than welcome to come again. Yeah, um, it's not far from from where I live. I mean, there'll be other clubs nearby. I mean, we've mentioned the Mill Liners. Is let's give them another shot. There are other clubs. I think Dartford have a, the, the, Dartford. the London City Lionesses. Is it? Play at Dartford. Um, yeah. Dartford play out on the 3G out the front. Uh, Charlton, Crystal Palace. So there's going to be one nearby. Um, it's an enjoyable, enjoyable event. Um, it's as good as any other non-league event that I've been to. So um, it's a bit more it a family friendly. Fr- family, yeah, yeah more family friendly, less F and blinding. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that's one thing that I would agree with. It's not not been that kind of edge that you would get. At Millwall. At Millwall, very un Millwall, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) And there it is, final whistle, six minutes of uh, added time. It finishes London Seaward 1, hashtag 4, harsh, harsh on uh, Seaward overall, but uh, those are the breaks as they say. You want to say thank you to Harry? Invite me along tonight. Thank you, mate. Appreciate that. You're more than welcome, mate. It's been a pleasure, and I hope you come back down. Hopefully, when we're uh, in some form of cup competition, we'll be in the, uh, the FA Cup. We haven't even mentioned it. We're only two women's cup. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're two round, two rounds away from possibly getting Chelsea or uh, or someone important. That might be interesting. Huge thank you to you too, dear listener, for staying with this show. Um, we're going to be back at. Uh, I'm going to be talking to Fizz tomorrow afternoon on the uh, Achtung Mill. So until the weekend. For me, it's the River Dirty Millwall, the River Dirty Grassroots, and the River Dirty Seaward. Bye for now. Bye for now. Achtung, Millwall. <laughs>